If you're looking for a keep you on your toes mystery thriller, check out The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. In this book, Avery Grams is just trying to get by. She's a junior, maybe senior in high school, and her mother has recently passed away. Her father has taken no interest in her life. In fact, he's just been really big pain. Um, she does not live with her father. Um, she does live with her half sister, who is her custodian, who's her legal guardian. And quite honestly, more often than not, she'd rather sleep in her car than be at home with her sister and her sister's not so nice boyfriend. She loves her sister dearly, but that guy is terrible. Um, so Avery Grams has a plan. She just wants to get out. She wants to survive high school, get a scholarship, and start her own life. She's smart. She's brilliant. Um, she she has what it takes. She can do this. And then her fortune changes. Avery Grams inherits the billionaire Tobias Hawthorne's fortune. She doesn't even know the guy. She finds this out and she's like, what? Me? Who? Who is this guy? So in order for her to get this fortune, to inherit this, to claim her inheritance, she has to move across the country to his mansion, to the Hawthorne house in Texas. Now this mansion has hidden rooms, passageways, codes, puzzles, like this guy loved logic puzzles and figuring things out and leaving things in code. And there's a plan for everything. So if he left his fortune to her, there was a reason. She just needs to figure out what that is. So not only does she have to move across the country, but she also has to move in with his family, with Tobias Hawthorne's family that he disinherited. That family includes his four grandsons who are dangerous, cunning, magnetic, and have been raised their whole life to think that they were going to be heirs to his fortune. So she finds herself caught in this mess of a family and danger around every corner and still intrigued and wanting to know, like, wh why me? What, what claim do I have here? And they're convinced that she's a con artist. She has no idea what, what was Tobias Hawthorne thinking. So in this Cinderella story, someone is definitely going to end up hurt, if not dead. And if that book interests you, the sequel just came out. I'm halfway through. It takes us further into Avery's story, the history of the family, and why Tobias Hawthorne left everything to her. If you're interested, check him out on Sora. Have a good day.